Hello, and welcome to Patricia's Orchids. Today, I'd like to share with you an unboxing from Equigenera. In September, they were doing a special 30% off certain orchids. As it was, there were two orchids in particular that I wanted. One was a Critochylum edwardii, and the other was an Epidendrum medusiae. Equigenera ships once a month to Europe. They ship to Germany. Uh, the order left Ecuador either on Thursday or Friday, arrived in Germany, and Germany shipped at UPS to Hampshire. So it took them one week to get here from Ecuador. Anyway, this is my order. I know how to open this box. So here we go. These are my plants from Ecuador. Let me raise this up a little bit. Just a moment. Ah! Just did the wrong one. It's this one I want. Oh. Then you can look down. Okay, let's get this a little bit straighter. There we go. Okay, so this is my order from Equigenera. Look. Everything is good. I don't know. It smells a little bit strange. But let's see. Ooh, I see green. Okay. Uh, so. Not sure. This is the Epidendrum medusi, medusi eye. Everything is a little bit cold. It was rather cold last night. Oh, that's not good. So you can see there it's bad, but this one here looks fine. Yeah. It looks like they might be saveable. But that looked interesting. Let's lay things flat. Okay. This. Everything is a little bit on the damp side. So this is the Master Valia I ordered. So I'm going to get rid of the tags, but that's... I just thought the color was nice. Okay, let's keep going. All this because there was one plant in particular that I wanted. Nope, this isn't it. This is the one. But uh, I got a plant like this from. Uh, Bisotic. That was in very good shape. In fact, it had uh, Fusarium. By the time I realized it had Fusarium, 
I couldn't save it. So this is a replacement for it. This is And uh, Malegro is a city in Ecuador, so I assume that's a. So it's cold, but it should be okay, I think. I hope. Oh, is this the one I was wanting? Nope, this is the Nobly. I actually don't really have a proper nobly, so I thought I'd try it. As you can see, it's quite a big plant. <laughs> well, that is just the filler. Okay. This is the one that I was wanting. So. It should be fine because it's a cool to cold grower. And this is Cratochylum edwardii. But yeah, this is the one I wanted. So I'm quite pleased with that. That should be fine because it does take quite cold temperatures. Okay, let's try this one. Oh, that leaf doesn't look very good. And this, oh, okay, this is a, decided that I had to have a sherry baby. So, don't know how this is going to be. Don't know if I really want a sherry baby, but everyone seems to have sherry babies, so I thought I'd give one a shot. Uh, I think this will definitely be separated from the others, but, uh, yeah. But that's my sherry baby. I don't think it's in the best shape. Well, <laughs> you can see it's been eaten by something. And the spots, the cold has definitely gotten to it, I think. I don't know anything about sherry babies, but one more plant to go. Okay. This is a dendrobium. Don't know how this will be. But yeah, it doesn't look too bad. Needs a little bit of attention, but uh, let's see. There we go. Dendrobium or CI. Okay. So let me just get things straighty, straightened and I'll oh, be right I'm back. back. So first, let's look at the Epidendrum Medusi, uh, Medusiae, Medusiae, I guess. So I know if it's supposed to be that lump. I know a lot of people tend to hang it like that. It probably needs hydration. It looks okay. I don't know. I've never grown. I've only had one other epidendrum. And I uh, sort of killed it. So hopefully this will be better. I think that's quite good. And then, of course, there's the... Uh, Mastavalia, 
So I had to buy one Mastavalia from, and this is the, uh, I'm not going to pronounce that. My Spanish is terrible. But yeah, that's a primary hybrid, I believe. I could be wrong. Okay. I'll put this over there. That, that's not a bad size. That's my uh, Dendrobium for SCI. That's uh, Latoria type. So that's, uh, and it's got two, let's see, two leads coming along. So I'll put that with my other Latorias. So that's quite good. I like that. That doesn't look bad. And then there's this one, which is the replacement for the Odontoglossum Halli, Hallii, however you pronounce that. Let's just call her, call her Haley. She looks like a Haley. So I think it looks okay. The bulbs feel firm, but of course I'll find out more when I take and look at the roots. But uh, I had one from Spisodic orchids. Unfortunately, I didn't, uh, well, it had Fusarium, and by the time I realized it had Fusarium, it was too far gone for me to save. So I just threw it out. It just wasn't going to be worth, especially when I found I could have one a lot cheaper off uh, Equigenera. Okay, so this is the Sherry Baby which is probably the worst of the lot, as you can see. It's rather, but uh, I didn't pay a lot of money for it, but I'll try and save it when I get to the roots. But that's the, uh, their Sherry Baby, which I think is spelt differently. I think the normal Sherry Baby is spelt with an A but that could just be a language thing. Okay, this is the Dendrobium nobili. I assume it's a species. Nobili, as I said, didn't say anything different. That should be okay, because it tends to collect the cold. And then there's this one. which is the one that I was wanting, which is a Critochylum edwardii. It's smaller than the crit other Critochylum I have, but it is supposed to be a smaller plant. So that should be interesting. It should be fine because it's a cold growing. I think it used to be a, in the Odontoglossum caterpillar but now they split it up. So yeah, I'm quite pleased with that. I'll take them all and clean them up and look at the roots and I'll be back. I have to finish cleaning them tomorrow, but uh, yes, the roots look quite decent. The worst of the order is a sherry baby, but even that's not too bad. The uh, nobly is well, you can see it's quite root bound. That's going to take me probably all day tomorrow, a good por portion of tomorrow getting it a little bit loosened. And the, uh, I don't want to be too harsh on the uh, Forbes CI because I don't want to ruin too many roots, but. I'll have to get all the old media out of that. And this is the uh, Dark Blossom Haley. Let's just call her Miss Haley. She's got roots as well. She's a little bit root bound, but not too bad. The, uh, surprise that the, uh, Starting to get new root growth, but surprised there's not more roots on the uh, Mastodalia. But that's still quite nice. But 
like I said, these were the two that I really, really wanted. The uh, Certo Chylum Edwardii and the uh, Epidendrum Medusiae. I just think that looks so cool, the Medusiae, the, uh, the leaves. It's worth growing just for the leaves. <laughs> no, I'm definitely not disappointed in that. I just hope I don't kill it. Anyway, this is Patricia. Thank you for watching. Bye.